stay away from people who belittle your ambitions. The small people always do that. The great, the truly great make others feel they can become great too. And just remember that if you have a goal, something that you're set out to do, get in and go for it. And don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. And if you have a dream, keep it to yourself because there's a lot of people that are what you call dream killers. Go ahead and do it. I learned this from Lee Priest that everybody's a fucking expert and only the people that think they're experts haven't done shit in their life ever. So if people like that are around you and they don't have anything to offer you, drop them like a bad habit. Here at Masters Nationals, uh, Gary Uda always does a great job promoting shows, and I actually got to help one of my clients, Patrick, uh, a month ago in Pittsburgh get his pro card at the North Americans in Masters Men's Physique. So um, I'm one of the last bodybuilders standing. Uh, it's older now; I'm 41, so it's been a five-year layoff since I was 36. Um, but I think this year, after getting requalified at the heart attack test, and then even also winning the open heavyweight, along with the masters, uh, like I say, even against the younger guys being older, I'd like to be kind of like a Gary Stridham or a Vince Taylor uh, once I get the card again. It's like I say, the uh, it's been a blessing, man, being able to get back out here, and uh, also too with my daughter too, Juniper, she was born. Uh, I think it's the third week of August. Uh, we had my wife, Catherine, had to have her a little early, uh, but she came out perfect. And uh, even with all that going on, uh, it's been awesome. Been able to look the best I've ever looked. And uh, another shout out I'd like to throw is uh, Brian Dobson, uh, Metroflex Gym, for all his help over the years and support. Uh, let me go do his push pull events and inspiring me to keep at it and keep grinding and putting in the work excited um i think this year i'm gonna bring a, a pretty gnarly package uh it's gonna be best best package yet i weighed in about 217 body weight uh for heavyweight freaky conditioning got striations in the glutes the hamstrings uh that's the main thing i always promised myself as i grew classes over the years was uh, conditioning always comes first so you it's great to be big, but you got to be definitely got to be hard. You got to diet uh, and be conditioned too. So, um, and at the same time, size added for national level. Uh, I know in Texas they like a small waist and all that, but uh, like I say, if you're if you're big time pro league and you want to make any money in the sport, it's like Mr. Weinberger said. It's, you know they want monster trucks. So you got to be big. You can't just be symmetrical and look pretty that's that's for the classic physique guys that's for the you know men's physique with the abs and the beach bodies uh this bodybuilding is a different look which is what makes it unique uh and hard to do and yeah it's some people say that it's a little bit too over the top but that's why it kind of has its own niche of being you know probably 1% in the world of people that can actually do it and have the discipline and the genetics to to do that and, and put themselves through it and go through all the work. So I also wanted to say thank you to all my clients, uh, 
proud of you, all of them, the, from the powerlifters to the bodybuilders that have done really well, from Alex Barlow doing his first show and winning the novice overall, uh, the Austin show uh, in the bodybuilding and also in the classic physique. I'm excited to see what he does at the Junior USA's this next year. Uh, and then also Patrick Howard for uh, getting his pro card. Uh, he's been a pro in the GBO and other natural organizations, WMBF, and uh, it's nice to be able to finally help him put the uh, icing on the cake and, and get his pro card at the North Americans in men's physique. Um, and like I say, a lot of the powerlifters that I've trained uh, this past few years, uh, from Brandon, who totaled, it's pretty awesome, in his first meet, 1,600, which is elite for 220. I think it was even a little bit over that. He benched 400 raw, and he pulled and squatted six in a full meet, uh, which is, is very good. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'll get also probably some more videos sent uh, too after the first and second coat. I'm here with my dad in Orlando too, so he's pretty excited. Uh, he, he's gotten to see the universe before. Anyways, I uh, appreciate all the support and help and uh, I'll send a few more videos. Hello everyone at uh, GASP, uh, Michael Johansson, Nick Del Toro, and then the GASP crew. I'd like to say thank you for all the support. Uh, it's been like hell trying to get back on stage. I'd like to thank also Rob and Esther at Big Tech's gym, also for all their help, uh, helping me with business and picking up business and everything as far as training people and doing really well. Thank you.